Hey guys, what's going on? It's Thursday, which means it is This Week at Bungie, or the weekly TWAB where we learn about some things that's going on in Bungie right now and some things to come. So we're going to get right into this one. A little bit of a short one, so video won't be too long, so we're going to go through this. Uh, I'm going to give you all the highlights, of course, as you want. if you want to go out and read this, it will be linked down below in the description. But let's get right into it. So this week, the Heroic Nightmare, or the Hero uh, level difficulty of Nightmare Hunts did go live. Really not too different. I mean, obviously the difficulty is a little bit more, it's a little bit harder, but uh, the rewards really, I mean, it's it's just a harder difficulty. That's really all there is to it. There's not much of a change. But they did mention something in here that I was excited about. We have the Legend and then Master Hunts coming out, and they said to keep out, or keep a lookout for new nightmares. So we might be getting some old enemies coming back in some of these uh, Legend and Master Nightmare Hunts. I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully uh, that's the case, but uh, we got that coming in the next two weeks, I believe, the next two resets or so, something like that. I'll have to go back and check out the roadmap. Uh, then we've got the Vex Offensive is live now. It's the six player activity. Go in there, take down a whole bunch of uh, Vex, take down some Gate Lords, take down a final boss at the end. Lots of gear in this thing, guys. If you want to try to get yourself, uh, you know, get yourself outfitted in some, some cool looking Vex gear, Go do this activity, lots of weapon drops, lots of armor drops throughout the whole thing, and uh, it's going to help boost your power up too. So those are the two new activities that we now have this year, uh, this year, this week. Next thing we've got here is uh, the section right here called Too Heavy. Basically, they're talking about how they made some changes to the heavy spawn in Control. Uh, basically, what the changes were was... Um, there was a little bit of a bug where it was spawning automatically. They got rid of that. That was a hot fix that came out earlier this week. They're changing, they're just changing that stuff around. Again, nothing big here. Not too much to talk about about this. It's just they're uh, tweaking the heavy ammo spawning in Crucible. So here's the big thing this week, guys. Iron Banner is coming back and it's coming back next reset, October 15th. Iron Banner is back and Saladin is making his first trip to the tower. Pretty excited about this. What you need to know about Iron Banner, it's going to be control again. Game mode is the same. But the way we're going to be progressing through and getting the armor, as you can see, we've got the armor right here. I like I like the look of it. I like the, the whitish gray. I like the whitish gray with the gold accents. To me, I'm a fan of that. I'm going to be grinding it out a little bit. But uh, the things that's different is basically how you're going to be earning the gear, how you're going to be earning the weapons. There's going to be a pursuit that is associated with Iron Banner, you're going to have to go in, do a whole bunch of activities, probably somewhat similar to what we had to do last time, where we had five objectives we had to get done with each objective that you complete, you got one extra piece of gear. As you completed each objective, you got the full set. Sounds like we got something similar right here. Uh, there may be more more steps along the way, maybe they're shorter steps. We don't know exactly what, the, what they are yet, but that's what's coming. Uh, so... While you're trying to get this pursuit done, and if you are doing Iron Banner matches, you're not going to be earning the gear. you got to com fully complete the pursuit before you can actually earn the gear. And the pursuit is character-based. So you're going to have to do this on, every th on all three characters to work your way up throughout the entire season. Just, I'm just telling you. I didn't like that about the last one. I mean, it took forever to get that done. They, I'm sure they made some tweaks to, uh, to to what this little pursuit is going to be, or big pursuit, who knows. Uh, but I'm assuming we're going to have new weapons. Obviously, we have new armors. Uh, pretty excited about all that stuff. And there is going to be bounties associated with Iron Banner. Let, let me see if I can read this properly. Um, the existing seven bounties that offered powerful rewards have been adjusted to offer pinnacle rewards. So that's 960 power. So all you guys trying to get up to 950 this week, here's another way you can get up to 960 after that. Um, but it looks like you're going to have to, you're not going to get access to those bounties until you've completed the pursuit is the way I'm understanding. We'll see once Iron Banner comes out. Of course, I'm going to be talking about Iron Banner next week in another video. So stay tuned to that. Then the next thing we're talking about here is first to finish, which is all about the raid race that happened this past weekend. Uh, Clan Re Clan Ascend emerged victorious. It says it right here. Um, got a little bit of a you know a little bit of a dialogue between them and Bungie about what they liked about the raid. You know their thoughts. You know how they came to this. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. You guys can go and uh, check it out when you want to go check it out. 
So next we have Hotfix coming out where there's a little bit of an issue where you don't sometimes get the artifact to drop at Season 7. Hotfix is, uh, hot is coming out uh, 2.6.0.3. Probably gonna, we're probably not even going to know about it. A couple of other known issues, very little ones, not anything too major to talk about right here. Again, if you want to go in and you know, shit, read it, see what it is. I haven't really, I read through it, nothing really seems to affect the way I've been playing the game. I haven't seen any of the issues at all. Of course, at the end here, we always have the movies of the week. And guys, I do want to bring your attention to this one. Uh, I don't know if you've ever watched any of these guys' videos. Husky Raid, they make some pretty awesome videos. They do make some pretty awesome videos. Uh, they, they've been out on a hiatus for a while. Uh, they've just been super busy in their personal lives, but they did come together. I would suggest going and checking this out. Definitely go check this out. I watched it. It's really, they do they do an amazing job making these videos. So uh, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I imagine, well, that's it for this week. But I imagine next week we might be getting a little bit of information about um, what's it called? That's a little lost. So stay tuned. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, it was a short one, short twelve this week. Hope you're enjoying Shadow Keep. I'm loving it not getting to jump in and play it as much as I'd like to just because I'm a little bit busy right now with 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 life with all that good stuff uh, but I'm gonna try to get in there a little bit more this weekend and I am pretty excited for Iron Banner so that's gonna do it for this one thanks for watching if you're new hit that subscribe button if you did enjoy the video hit that like button other than that I'll see you next time